Glass-Steagall. Glass-Steagall, so that... A Glass-Steagall. Glass-Steagall, so that you guarantee... Glass-Steagall. Glass-Steagall, so that... A Glass-Steagall. Glass-Steagall, so that you guarantee... Glass-Steagall. Glass-Steagall, so that... A Glass-Steagall. Glass-Steagall, so that you guarantee... Sir. Claudio Celani from EIR Strategic Alert Service. Uh, let's move out of Greece. Uh, let's go into Spain. Um, my question concerns the, the issue of the exposure of the EU banking system. <clears throat> and uh, in this context, many observers do say that Greece represents a systemic risk for the exposure of the European banking system. Maybe you could just answer yes or no to this. But uh, there is a growing concern for the uh, permanence of a whole array of, of uh, high-risk assets in the banking system, which is guaranteed by states, by central banks, etc. And there is growing concern for the case of Spain, because not only of the real estate, the collapse of the real estate values, therefore the assets related to the real estate bubble, but also because of, if you take the case of Santander, which is the largest bank in the Eurozone, the other bubble represented by the high yield investments in Brazil. Uh, and therefore, in view of this, the permaining of this risk in the, this whole array of, of, of high risk assets, wouldn't be uh, appropriate to think to a uh, reorganization of the system according to a Glass-Steagall standard, like many propose. Steagall? Glass Steagall, so that you, ga Stiegel, Glass you, Stiegel, so that you guarantee no, no. only for commercial bank assets, no, no. Uh, right? I, commercial I, bank activity, but you don't I, guarantee for um, uh, um, investment, bank? investment bank activity. Thanks. Well, uh, again, uh, what you described is, I would say, the, the normal functioning of a market economy. In a market economy, uh, banks, commercial banks, uh, banks in general, are uh, sorting out the various risks, have to anal analyze their risks, uh, uh, public risk, private risk, uh, uh, be very careful uh, not to uh, take too much uh, uh, risks uh, as they did in the past. So you are, I would say, mentioning what is the normal preoccupation of risk management of a financial institution. And we are, as you know, working on that in the Basel Committee, in the Financial Stability Board, in order to be as sure as possible that we draw all the lessons from the present crisis. It's not a Spanish problem, it's not a European problem, it's a global problem, and we are uh, reflecting on these uh, issues. You mentioned uh, yourself uh, a country in uh, in the new hemisphere. Uh, we are working uh, very, very actively on that. We are in a phase, where, uh, you know that we are in, uh, I would say, interaction with the private sector. Uh, the Basel Committee has uh, published a number of, uh, of uh, indications and uh, we have a view uh, to have uh, decisions before the end of the year in those very, very important issues of appropriate prudentials and uh, improvement, uh, very, very significant improvement in risk management. Thank you very much.